Welcome to the Price Academy Bite Size History Videos. This video is introducing Margaret Tudor. Margaret was born to King Henry VII and Elizabeth of York in 1489 at Westminster Palace. She was the eldest daughter of the family. Margaret had three siblings, Prince Arthur, born in 1486, her older brother, her younger brother, Henry, born in 1491, and her younger sister, Mary, born in 1496. Henry would become the future King Henry VIII after the death of his father, because he was the heir to the Tudor throne after his brother Arthur's death. As the eldest daughter in the family, Henry VII knew Margaret's marriage would be a vital source of political power. It was arranged that Margaret would marry the 30-year-old James IV of Scotland and she was aged 14. This was a vital move after the death of Elizabeth of York in 1502 for the Tudor dynasty. Her marriage to James IV did take place on the 8th of August at Holyrood Abbey in 1503. This happened one year after Scotland and England signed the Treaty of Perpetual Peace. It was the first peace agreement between the two countries in more than 170 years. This letter was written by Margaret to her father, Henry VII, betraying her homesickness and insecurities of her marital situation. She knew she would probably never see her father again. Margaret didn't begin to bear James's children until February 1507 when she was 17 years old. Margaret had six children with James but only one survived childhood. Her fourth child, who would become King James V of Scotland, but only till he was 30 years old. King James IV died in 1513 in battle, fighting against Margaret's brother Henry in the Battle of Flodden. Although Henry wasn't present during the battle as he was fighting the French in France. Henry's queen and childhood friend of Margaret, Catherine of Aragon, sent messages of comfort to Edinburgh following James's death, promising Margaret England's protection and support if she could keep the Scots quiet. Margaret became Queen Regent of Scotland, reigning temporarily on behalf of her son, James V. She was 24 years old with a 17-month-old son and was also pregnant at the time of James IV's death. Margaret could hold this position as long as she remained unmarried. However, she had secretly married Archibald Douglas, the Earl of Angus, on the 6th of August, 1514. Archibald Douglas was the head of one of the most powerful families in southern Scotland. He was the same age as Margaret and with two young sons to look after, now Alexander Stuart, the Duke of Ross, had been born. It is not surprising she sought comfort in a man of her choosing. Her decision to secretly marry Archibald angered the Scottish Parliament and threatened her status as Queen Regent. Margaret was removed from power and forced into exile while the Duke of Albany, who was the cousin of King James IV, took over as regent for James V. Margaret made the decision to flee Scotland with Angus in the summer of 1515 and in October gave birth to their daughter, seen here, Margaret Douglas. Margaret stayed in England for over a year before returning to Scotland. When the Duke of Albany was away in France in 1525, Margaret brought her 12-year-old son James to court and installed him as reigning king. In 1528, James V began to reign on his own after a power struggle between Margaret and her husband, Angus, over his rule. Margaret managed to divorce Angus as he had been living with another woman and marry her lover, Henry Stuart. Margaret died on the 18th of October 1541, aged 52. Her great-grandson, James VI, would become the King of England in 1603. James VI managed to unite the crowns and started the reign of the Stuarts, which lasted 111 years. Don't forget, if you enjoyed this video, to like and subscribe to the channel or follow me at Twitter or at Facebook at TanyaAlex38.